Have you ever seen a wet ostrich before? Look at him. All wet. Ah. So I ended up giving Jerry a little bath today. <laughs> Just to clean him up a little bit and he's feeling so soft now. Ain't that right? Ah. What is happening everyone? I just finished waving Jerry. I don't know if you could see in the intro, but that was one adorable moment. And I tend to try and do that uh, quite so often, maybe two or three times a week, just to clean him up nicely because he does stay inside with me. And uh, one of the things that he does like to do is actually sit on my lap and uh, just chill with me on the couch, which is, which is very weird. So I do tend to bath him. Um, I'll probably do a video on the entire process. It is a real process trying to bath an ostrich that only has two legs and no arms. So for him being able to try and balance himself in the bath is already something on its own. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of the love and support that you guys have been showing me. It's been absolutely crazy, man. I, I really never thought that I'd move over to YouTube and actually do something that I enjoy and that's creating content. I'm glad you enjoy the content. I do read all of your comments. Don't get me wrong. I see you guys asking for longer videos. I'm going to try my best. Nevertheless, remember it is extremely difficult to try and film um, long content videos with semi wild animals um, they don't always tend to try and do what you ask them to do which is never the case i can ask anything to try and do something but they will never do that so for today i'm actually just uh, as you can see in my normal clothes i'm just chilling for the day i actually have a few errands to run in town uh, i do live quite a while from the closest town so i need to run in I actually need to go and get a go and get a haircut just make myself look neat and tidy again there's already no electricity i don't know if you watched the previous video where i explained to you guys what is happening in south africa at the moment so we got a lot of load shedding happening so it's actually perfect timing for me to escape a little bit head into town cut my hair and maybe do a few other things as well <music> There is a lot of South African vloggers out there, but for me, honestly, trying to vlog in a place where there's so many people, I'm actually very used to it, vlogging where animals are, but vlogging in public feels so much different, so much more worse. So I'm basically going to go get my hair cut, and uh, I'll see you guys after that. Look at him. Hello, baby. Yo, what is happening everyone? Uh, as you can see, it's the next day. We were nice and busy yesterday by the shopping mall and uh, I just had to get away from that place. I do not like going into the city at all, but it is nice to actually get out and actually socialize and see what is happening out there in the world because otherwise I am on the farm 24-7 around the animals the whole time, every day. And uh, it's just good to actually get out there and see what's happening. I am actually here by the cheetahs and I just wanted to come and check up on them and see what is happening. So I did see one female about 200 meters away from me and uh, the other one around 400 meters away from me so we'll just have a walk in the bush and see who we do find but nevertheless we've got a fresh new haircut i think uh i think it's looking pretty clean and crisp so without wasting any more time we're gonna head anywhere any direction to go and see <laughs> which cheetahs we can find found one but uh this guy i don't want to get anywhere close to so we'll just steer away but luckily we can see him see that he's doing all good all fine. And now we can just move on to the next one. So I found one. And uh, right exactly where we fed them yesterday. He's just snuffing away. What's it? <laughs> What's it smell like? Oh. oh she's, she's got something in there. She's sticking her whole head inside that rib. You're getting something. A lot of people actually ask me, how am I able to interact with these animals? How am I able to, to interact with wild dogs, cheetahs, and uh, uh, all, of the, all of the different animals that I show you guys? The easiest answer that I can give you is time. Things like this don't happen overnight. I mean, it doesn't just pop up by your doorstep and say, hello, come and interact with me. It's... It doesn't work like that so it took me many many years to actually build up the confidence uh, build up the trust from the animals and uh, form the bond that i have with them now which i think is is pretty incredible i never thought that i'd get up to this point and i'm extremely happy and privileged to being able to share it with you guys hopefully in the next few coming videos oh there she goes <laughs> Where is she dragging it to? Hopefully in the next few videos I can actually display it to you guys a little bit more and uh, hopefully educate you guys a little bit more on the animals that I'm able to interact with and that I spend a lot of time with. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, stay safe.
they won't.